ScriptLogic's Security Explorer solution empowers administrators to manage their NTFS, file share, printer, and registry key permissions at the most granular level. Using features not available in the built-in tools, Security Explorer delivers a best-of-breed access control product for Windows environments. In this brief demonstration, I'll show you the rich feature set that makes Security Explorer the only solution of its kind. Security Explorer is an interesting product in that it tackles a very core piece of the Windows environment, access controls to resources. Being able to manage NTFS permissions or registry key permissions or file share permissions or printer permissions on your Windows servers is a pretty daunting task. One of the biggest issues is finding out even what the access controls are. Now, our Enterprise Security Reporter solution is excellent for that, but let's say that you're looking at a one-to-one -one basis. You want to find out on a particular folder what the access is. Well, typically, this would require you to right-click, select Properties, select Security, select Advanced, and select Edit to find out something very basic. Like in my case on the C drive, that the High Security Group has read and execute on this folder, subfolders, and files. Security Explorer lets us see this very easily and breaks it down granularly for all of the different permissions that are supported on NTFS 5 and later. Now looking at this right here, we can modify any of these different permissions to apply to uh, any of the special permissions or of course to any different subsets of folders and subfolders. Now in my case, I want to go ahead and grant some access. One of where inheritance is blocked to set permissions effectively and push that down the tree without affecting other users adversely. So that's completely unique in the way this functions. We also can do the same in reverse. This is the revoke feature. So revoke permissions for any group or user, or revoke all permissions for a particular group or user, or any user from my domain. 
I can choose to look for folder permissions, file permissions for any file extensions, and I can choose to search the permissions, in this case called the DACL, the owner. I can search for any or all permissions. I can invert the permissions set to search only where users or groups do not have permissions. And then when I get those results, I can act on any of that different criteria. Now, in addition to this, I can also set ownership. So not only can I take ownership, I can also set ownership for any other group or user. And this goes back to Windows NT. So we've had this function in our product for a very long time. What's really nice about this, too, is something called an administrative override. Now, let's take a look at this particular folder, WM Pub. The built-in account operators are the owner, and the AA admin group has full control. I am an administrator, and therefore I have an administrative override. So I can actually go ahead and grant, revoke, clone permissions, whatever I want to do. So I'm going to revoke permissions for AA admin. I'm going to revoke all of them in this case, and I'm going to select OK. So now it can go back and it can remove. and quite simply it gives back, puts all my permissions back, and as you see those permissions are exactly what they were before. So I can do that quite simply. I can also export these permissions so if I wanted a very basic reporting format I could do so. We provide Microsoft Access databases for this so you can get some built-in reporting as well as the ability to export to a CSV file or to a text file for use with Microsoft Excel. We have other features here too, like being able to create a share, or open Windows Explorer, or open a command prompt from this location. It makes it very easy for us to modify these in any way that we see fit. Now I can do this not just for my local machine, but for any computers in my environment. Simply browsing through my network treats them just like they're on my local computer. So it doesn't matter where I'm actually accessing this data from. From here too, I can manage and add favorites. So if I have favorite computers and favorite locations I want to work with, I can do so. I can also manage and create enterprise scopes. What an enterprise scope is, is a logical grouping of computer resources. So if I wanted to grant access to the C drives of 15 different servers, I could make it a one-step action by using an enterprise scope. I can also manipulate registry key permissions. So anywhere in my environment, I can view and edit registry key permissions, file share permissions. So through my environment, selecting any computer shows me the list of shares shows me what those file share permissions are and allows me to manage those remotely. Also available for printers, so any computer, I can look at the printers that are associated with it and who can actually print, manage documents, or manage the printer itself. And even as good measure, we give the ability to view and close open files. So in a case where we might be granting more restrictive access to someone who has files open, we don't want them to get errors when they write those files back. So now the open files aspect lets us kill the handles to those resources before we make the changes so that we can more effectively set that security. So Security Explorer is going to be a single solution for management of NTFS permissions, registry key permissions, file share permissions, printer permissions, all from a centralized console for all of the servers and workstations in your environment that you choose to manage with it, providing much more flexibility 
and much more functionality than is built in with the Apple Editor and providing a best-of-breed solution for management of these permissions.